I can't take him yeah. home though. I mean, you can imagine going home and me turning up as James Bond. You know, my family, are, yeah. you know, they, they keep me in my place. Today is my 17th wedding anniversary. And besides my husband, oh. there is nobody I'd rather spend the day with than you. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> I hope you're spending some time with your husband. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. He, I, I kicked him out for, I kicked him out for the Zoom interview. Congratulations. Congratulations Thank to you both. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on this. Can you relate at all to what we're going through? Has there ever been a franchise or an actor or actress who said goodbye to their role that as a viewer or an audience member, you were legitimately bummed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's, uh, I think, I think, thank you. I think, I mean, it's like, it's yeah. like, I think there's a, um, I don't know. Listen, we, we, I had a really amazing thing offered to me 17 years ago now. Um, something that, has changed my life in ways that I could not even imagine. Um, but also, uh, you know, a, an acting job and I'm an actor and I always sort of wanted to put something of my own into this, but also to tell a story and to try and lift uh, as much, I don't know, he's, I think he's, a, you know, I always thought of him as a, as a very complicated, emotional human being. He, he, yeah. He's, he kills people for a living. That's quite, you know, difficult one. But he loves people. He loves, he falls in love. He falls out of love. He does all these things. I, I'm a huge, big movie fan. I, I'm, I, I like the front row, popcorn, big drink. I want to be there and blown away. But I also want to be moved. I want to be affected mm -hmm. by what I'm watching. I don't just want the flashbangs, although we have plenty of those. Um, and that's really what I've just, you know, we've tried, we've tried as a, as, as collectively to do with these films. Well, you accomplished it because there are some great moving, very moving moments in this. I just finished watching the Being James Bond. Man, I got choked up at that. And that was only 45 right. minutes long. And it, it reminded yeah. me one of the greatest things about Bond, in my opinion, and this might seem silly, is the way you always kind of button the jacket after getting out of a car, after landing. It's, it's the way you pull that off. And I'm curious, is there any mannerism or personality trait or something subtle about you, Daniel Craig, that's a direct result from you playing this guy for so many years? Well, I tell you, the, the, the kind of buttoning the jacket and the, and, and, and the, and the, and the, the sleeve shooting, mm -hmm. my grandfather was a, was a master tailor. So when, when I grew up, there was a lot of good tailoring in the house. He dressed beautifully and had cufflinks and tie pins and just, I lo I used to play with his, uh, he had a box with all the kind of cufflinks and things and I used to play with those. And I get a lot of those mannerisms from him. I just, mm. I, I felt, you know, I felt that's, and, and, and I've been incredibly fortunate to wear some beautifully tailored suits and beautiful, and they, you know, and they just, they need a little fiddle occasionally. They got to be straightened. They got to be, you know, and it just, it felt the right thing to do. The other way around, has he affected me? I, probably, I don't know. I can't take him yeah. home though. I mean, you can imagine going home and me turning up as James Bond. I wouldn't oh. get, you know, my family, yeah. are, you know, they, they keep me in my place. Yeah, I'll bet. I know they just wrapped me. Who gave you the best parting That's gift? all the time we have, Tara. I'm oh. so sorry. Uh, Barbara and Michael gave me a beautiful watch. That, um, so I was very, very touched by that congratulations again everything. 17 wonderful years take care thank you 17 <laughs> blissful years <laughs> and it's a pleasure to see you again even though i'm still bummed this isn't in person i know i know it's always great to see you in person we got we've got history now we and uh, i'm glad glad to share this one with you well i am too and congratulations on this my biggest question after seeing this film as it relates to your character is when do you think the last time he got a hug was? Oh, a hug. Yeah, no, very, 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 very early on in his <laughs> life. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's had quite a difficult life, uh, but you know, there's something unique about him, about how, uh, I don't know if he's, he's, the sensitivity might be there in certain scenes, but he's also mm -hmm. able to uh, remove himself from, from compassion and a moral compass in order to, to take down bond and, and the world at large 
I have to ask you one of the creepiest things I thought about your villain. It wasn't the way he looked. It wasn't necessarily what he wore, although he could use a little Freddie Mercury color in his wardrobe, apparently. Um, it was the cadence, your cadence, the way and the pacing of the speech. Was that all you? Yes. You know, I I think there's there's a lot of subtlety there, a lot of nuance, but if if you... If you look at him on screen, you'll see some movement back and forth. I just wanted everything to be just a little unusual, a little peculiar, a little unsettling, a little unpredictable. Those are all the things I, I always want to see when, when I see someone uh, surprise me in a film. And uh, I think we have those moments with Daniel. It, it, it's subtle, but I, I enjoy it. I think it works. I think it works for Daniel and for the film and uh, a real real great way to send him off. Uh, this is definitely a great swan song for Mr. Craig. And uh, mm -hmm. when you meet him, when you see his level of commitment to the film, you just wanna be a part of elevating that in any way you can. So I hope it was a, a valuable con contribution. Well, I know he loved working with you too. You know, it's interesting, you guys had to sit on secrets for an extra 18 months, basically. And I've been asking people, what did you get, Daniel? What was your parting gift? And some people can't remember because it was so long ago. But do you re recall that final day shooting with him? And did you get him anything, like a goodbye parting gift? Is that something you did? Uh, yeah, something just between him and I, though, something personal. Okay. And it'd be too much of an inside joke. But <laughs> yeah, we, we, got, we get along extremely well. Um, especially you know beginning this press tour as well really be, being able to talk about moments and work in the future he's he's someone now i can lean on as as a veteran there's not there i mean honestly aren't it's not that much of a gap between us in age but he still has this quality where he he can offer quite a bit of wisdom and and uh, we've both been in positions where we've had to be leaders on set so to watch someone do it so elegantly with such uh, calm, care, love, dedication is, um, it's something that I'll still rem keep in my back pocket. And if, if I ever get a privilege to work with him again, I'd be a lucky guy. Maybe Knives Out 3, you never know. You never know, you never know. Yeah. I know they just robbed me, but quickly, I'm always curious, who in your opinion is the best villain you've ever seen on screen? Because to me, a villain has to stay with you afterwards. Who's that for you? I love Javier in Skyfall, but for me, watching him in No Country for Old Men was oh. uh, chilling, chilling, yeah. I'm with Can't you. Compete. I need him. I need him in a rom-com <laughs> so I can get yeah, past yeah, Is his. it about time? Yeah, people yeah, are gonna start so. saying that about me too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, you to me will still always be Freddie Mercury, but that's just oh, me because I feel like we shared we shared that in person. Hey, congrats so much, Rami. It's great to see you. Great to see you, Tara, always. Hi, Lashana. I'm Terry Hitchcock. And I had the pleasure of interviewing you for Captain Marvel. So congratulations on everything that's happened since I saw you last. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, it's interesting in the trailer, you hear uh, James Bond talk about your character and say she's a disarming young woman. What is the adjective that your friends would use to describe you? Oh, good question. Um, and uh, lately I've been told that I'm an octopus because I gesticulate a lot all the time. <laughs> um, but outside of physicalities, I'd say that um, sparky, I'm always ready to oh. like see what, what we're going to do next and how we can, you know, capitalize on moments and how we can make each other feel good. And I just want every, every moment to be as sparky as possible. So we're not, we're not wasting time, which I think is I quite it. suitable for this film, actually. I totally agree with you. You know, speaking of, of how your friends would describe you, when we spoke last time, I asked you who your real life BFF was, and you said a gal named Adama Anwar. So my question is, I'm assuming she's still your good friend, but my question is, <laughs> yeah. you, you guys not only had to sit on secrets, you had to sit on secrets for an extra 18 months. Tell me at least your BFF knows exactly what's happening in this film. You know what? Not exactly. It's to the really? point where I, I, yeah, I say some things, but I still hold some things back just so they can have the true cinema experience because mm -hmm. I don't want to ruin things. And a yeah. lot of friends will do the, just tell me I'm going to forget it by the time it comes <laughs> out. It'll be fine. I'll be in the zone. But I, I don't want that for them. I, I don't want them to always have 
that preempted moment where they're like, oh, I remember this from two years ago when he told me. I want them to be just as shocked as I would if I was watching them in the cinema. So yeah, they know some things, but they also are able to, yeah, be true to the moment. Well, they will thank you later for that because I agree with you. It is so much nicer to go in not knowing anything. I have, yeah. I have so enjoyed you talk about your mom being on set in Jamaica. And I'm so curious, <laughs> what was it like for her to meet Daniel Craig for the first time? Was she a big fan going in or, or what was that experience like? Oh, it was, you know, it was interesting because on set, she was right next to Daniel, but also sitting on the other side of the room, but also trying to be discreet, but also not being discreet at all. <laughs> she was practically in the back of shot the whole day that she was, she was there. Um, so the real, the, the first real time she met him was actually this week at the premiere. Um, yeah, and she was, oh, wow. she just like hit him and was like, Daniel! And he was like, wow! That's definitely <laughs> Lashana's mom because she's as sparky as Lashana. <laughs> um, <laughs> if we look closely, will we see your mom's arm in any of the Jamaica shots? I want to say yes. They okay. may have cut nicely around it, but there are some rushes somewhere, some dailies in the cutting room floor where I'm sure you could just see her trying to stay in shot and, and <laughs> you look good, <laughs> which isn't hard for her to do. I, I know they're about to wrap me. Um, when it comes to James Bond, your character is such on par with him. She's such an equal to him in many ways. Um, is there something that you are so much better at Daniel Craig at doing in real life where you're not on par, he can't even hold a candle to you in this particular aspect? Oh, I feel like I want to say something really good that he's going to be like, oh, I wish I was here to defend myself. Um, well, the other day we we were asked by someone if uh, who's the who could be the actual best real life secret agent. And he immediately right. was like, Lashana. So I think like because I'm good at keeping secrets. I'm good at staying cool. I'm good at. Um, yeah, some things I think that could be a little secret agent-y. So I'll, I'll take his like answer that. and make it mine. So there you go. I had the pleasure okay. of chatting with you in Mexico City for Spectre. And I know, probably like us, you thought that was Daniel's last film as Bond. So how did you find out? How, did you get a phone call? Where were you when you find out, found out, no, he's coming back? And, and so are you. Yeah, I remember where, where I was. I was in New York when they called me back. And um, <laughs> it's very funny. Like, uh, so Barbara called me, Barbara Broccoli, mm -hmm. and she said, you know, um, Daniel is coming back this time, but it's a secret uh, and uh, we want you back. So would you, would you like to be part of the adventure? <laughs> and I said, of course, yes. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it was very funny because I was in the street, in, <laughs> in the street. <laughs> uh, in New York, and uh, there was a paparazzi chasing Meg Ryan. Oh <laughs> no! <Behind me. laughs> I was on the phone, and they didn't like. They just like went, you know, in front of me. Like they, they didn't. I mean, they, they recognized me or whatever, and they were like chase. And I, I was like, it was very funny. They missed the biggest <laughs> scoop of all. They, they literally missed the biggest scoop Actually, of all. I was on the phone. Really, I'm in the next one. <gasps> yeah, and they were like, but that was funny. That was yeah. a funny moment. Oh my gosh, that's a great story. You know, what is the key? You know, your your relationship with Bond has lasted longer than any other Bond woman in, in the franchise. Yes. What's the key to keeping his interest for more than just one film? Um, it's, um, yeah, I, 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 it's because I think that, that James Bond has changed. Mm -hmm. Now he has become like a feminist, right? <laughs> and that's, that's uh, thanks to, to Daniel, because uh, it's really something that he, you know, it was, also, his his uh, his um, will to 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 create more interesting female characters, and uh, because because uh, Daniel's James Bond has more, uh, I would say, depth and more vulnerability. He mm -hmm. now, you know, he opened his heart, and uh, he he I mean he falls in love with uh, with Madeline, and then. The, the 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 relationship that uh, that I mean the, the relationship with women you know mm -hmm. are are um, yeah more like mature uh, he's matured is what he's more done. mature and more real <laughs> more real yeah. and more uh, uh, yeah um, uh, more consistent and so it's it, it's it's I think it's maybe the first time that uh, he's he he only has like one love affair, right? Mm -hmm. In No Time to Die, like 
uh, in the previous ones, he's always like, he has those ex uh, um, um, He gets around, Leah, in the other ones. He gets around, let's be honest. <laughs> You know, I, how did you say goodbye to him on the film? I don't think you were there for his last day of actual shooting because I think that was the no, stuff. No, I wasn't there. So how did you say goodbye? What was the last day of shooting for you like? You don't have to say what scene it was, but yeah. what was that like? For me, my, my last day, uh, I think it's uh, when, uh, it's, it's my, my, uh, my uh, final scene, actually. Mm. That was my last day on set. And... Uh, Hi, it was really tough, I have to say. Yeah. Really tough. First of all, because because of the scene, you know, and because mm -hmm. I knew that it was the end. Um, and uh, it was, it's a very uh, intense, uh, emotionally speaking scene. Yep. Um, and I had to, yeah. And I wanted to give, you know, the best, the best. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it, it's been such a, such an incredible experience. And and on the, not only because it's it was amazing to be on a set like James Bond, but also because it's it was a, a, an amazing uh, human experience. Billy, I had the uh, pleasure of talking to you for Game Night, one of the, one of my favorite movies. So it's good to see you. Yeah, and it's a Game Night reunion, uh, uh, Wright and I. Yeah, there we You're, go. You, and Jeffrey, you are like a warm blanket to me. When I see you pop up in any film, I just feel like this loyal blanket has engulfed me. Congratulations. I feel the same way about him. He is a warm blanket. He can spoon. You, can, This guy knows how to spoon. Well, it kind of leads to my first question then. Is that the key to a lasting friendship with Bond that lasts more than one film? The Spooning with spoon. Bond, a uh, warm Spooning blanket Bond. Bond uh... <laughs> Could what be. is the key, though? It What's could the key be. to There's that a... friendship? Well, um, <laughs> I, I think it. I think it. It has to do with something that um, that you hear exists between these men and women who do this type of work, whether it, you know, in service of. Uh, yes, it's in service of country, but at the same time, even more importantly, it's in service of one another, and there's a sense of of kinship and brotherhood and mutual respect that's born, not because of who they represent, but of who, who they are. And I think, um, I think that's what we've tried to focus on is, is, is what these men mean to one another and, and, and roll with it from there. Yeah, yeah I, I love the relationship. And Billy, I, I love, I, I, I don't wanna to say too much about your character, but he exudes kind of this giddiness. He's kind of the new guy. He's working with someone he's admired. When was the last time you kind of experienced the kind of giddiness, in my opinion, that you're- Right now, of. baby, right now! <laughs> I'm so giddy. But, but seriously, what's the question? yeah, how yeah. You, experiencing that kind of giddiness with somebody that you've got to be professional with, but you also admire, which is kind of what your character, Logan Ash, is to Bond. I get to, uh, you know, I think it, every day I get to be excited about uh, the opportunities I get. Again, like this interview, I'm giddy about it. It's cool. I get to work with Jeffrey Wright. That's that's awesome. I mean, every opportunity is a gift. So I just kind of take it all in. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to say if you guys were there in the final day of Daniel's shooting, so I don't want to give anything away. But on that final day for you, and I'll start with you, Jeffrey, did you get emotional? Did you give him a parting gift? Uh, I forgot the parting <laughs> gift. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Actually, I, I had a I had a warm blanket for him <laughs> at the end of the day to give it to him. Um, you know, I if I remember, well, what I was I was actually I was exhausted <laughs> at the end of that first day, at the end of that last day because I, I you know we Daniel had gotten injured down in Jamaica when we were filming there, and so um, we had to delay some of the stuff that we were working on. So I went back to Westworld uh, and for oh. you know a couple of months or whatever, and then came back to London to finish like the last few days. And I was, you know, it was just too many airplanes. And I think at the end of the day, I just, you know, I just went home and took, you know, went to sleep. You know, I think that was, <laughs> my, that was my big celebration of it all. But you know, at the same time, um, the, the you know the real party was the other night uh, yeah. in London at Royal Albert Hall celebrating, you know, what, what Daniel's meant to this franchise and, you know, and, and, and the way that he has kind of rejuvenated it and redefined it, uh, 
you know, on his own terms. That was, uh, you know, that's what I was waiting for. I took a nap then so that I could show up refreshed, you know. There you go. Three years you, later at the at the opening night. <laughs> <laughs> you made up for it. Billy, I know they wrapped me, but quickly, did you get him anything just to thank him and say goodbye or no? It's a, it's a gift between him and I. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll take that answer. Hey, I hope the next one's in person, you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I know you've been- Thank you. Have a great days. one. Thank you. You too. Thanks, guys.